Bellator 238, live on the zone from the fabulous form in Inglewood, California. We got the night started in the strawweight division, Ava Knight and Emily King. Emily King came in saying she was a submission hunter, and that's exactly what she did against Ava Knight. When she got the fight to the ground, she went after a multitude of submissions, but the rear naked choke is what ended this fight. Beautiful win for Knoxville, Tennessee's Emily King. So Emily King gets the win, and then a little bit of history as her husband, Jason King, would fight next. First time, Josh, a husband and wife fight on the same card in a major promotion, but it didn't go well for the Asian persuasion. Just a tough task against Raymond Daniels, probably the most high-flying guy in the whole sport of MMA and kickboxing. But what he showed tonight was his grappling skills. You saw there against King. King tried to go for the leg lock. He able to crush the position and land the big shots to end the fight. Nice job by Raymond Daniels. You wondered how Sergio Pettis would be at 135. You wondered how he would be for the first time in the Bellator cage. John, it didn't take long to get an answer. We knew how good he was as a flyaway, but look at that power. 135, 10 more pounds, and we get a knockdown and then a guillotine choke to unconscious by Sergio Pettis, his first Bellator win, saying, I want to be the Bantamweight champion. And a great performance turned in by Sergio Pettis. Then, featherweights matched up Henry Corrales and Juan Archuleta. Juan Archuleta getting back on the winning track after his loss to Patricio Pitbull. He did exactly what he needed to do. Look, the two of them are a tough task to handle. Juan did just exactly what he needed by keeping outside the range of Henry Corrales. Looking there, beautiful turn, beautiful lift, control position, able to get the win. Nice job by Juan Archuleta getting back on the winning track. Juan Archuleta defeats Henry Corrales. And what will be next for the Spaniard? Who will be next for AJ McKee? Featherweight World Grand Prix. It continued quarterfinal fight. Darian Caldwell, Adam Boric. Look, the talk and the hype was all Adam Boris coming into this fight. All the talk behind him. I gotta tell you right now, Darian Caldwell looks phenomenal, able to close the distance, able to control Adam Boris on the ground after we had heard all this talk about Adam Boris being able to get up from out underneath Usman. That was not the case tonight. Huge win for the Wolf. And then in our main event of the evening, the crown jewel, Julia Budd, put her belt on the line against Chris Cyborg. And at the very end, John, Chris Cyborg went back to her roots of shoot the box. He did go back to her roots, but what a performance by both ladies. They went after it. Look at that kick to the body, smart fighting. Here's that berserker attack that she was known for, but then got smart, got in the clinch, used her power with the knees, and then opened up against Julia. Going upstairs, downstairs, the body shots started to add up. Look at those elbows to the body, and it was the end right here. Look at the shots up high, down to the body, and finally it's gonna be a body shot that puts Julia Budd down. That shot right there, she cannot survive. A KO victory for Chris Cyborg, the new Bellator featherweight champion of the world. For the latest Bellator news and information, go to Bellator.com and the Bellator app. Oh, wow. I'm going out here and I'm going to do something I've never done before. Friday, February 21st. That kid's a beast. Three-time national wrestling champ, Easy Ed Ruth, faces 22-0 Dynamo. First round submission victory! Yaroslav Amasov, plus Brandon Gertz and Miles Jury face off in a gritty lightweight brawl. Bellator MMA, live Friday, February 21st at 9 on Paramount Network.